Hello, hello, hello to all who are joining. I have a special guest. Well, actually, it's not a special guest. She's a regular partner of mine. Her name is Dr. Nancy. She will be joining us, so I can't have anybody else join us. But I can wave at you all, and thank you for coming. And I was wondering if you had any questions. Let's see if there are any questions. I'm gonna see, let's see, questions. Oh, we got a lot of questions, okay. I'll, I'll look those over in a minute. But hello to you all. Paul Lee, Ola, Ola Pan, Terrence. I don't know if any of these things, let's see who wants to join here. I'm still waiting for, oh, here she comes, my little Nancy, my little fancy Nancy, she's coming. Thank you very much, yay, yay, yay. So yeah, let's see, when was the last time you were treed? What does treed mean? Tell me what treed means. We're gonna get to all these questions. Hello there, S guy, 84, Miguel, Joseph, welcome to all. Still waiting to, for Dr. Nan's request to come on this lovely creepy tricks joining in the house. Hello, Wesley, and thank you for complimenting me. True hero, tring a cougar. Oh, like the cougar climbs a tree? I don't know. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I got Nancy's trying to get on here. I can, but I don't see her request to join. Let's see if I can. Let's see, someone requested here. Oh, she did. Somehow it didn't register. There she is. There she is. Oh. Hi, I'm, I'm trying to get on the horse here. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Well, so what happened was it didn't register that you were there. Ah. I only saw well, that you would join. I don't register that. <laughs> well, we were just talking about what the word treed means. Treed. Treed means, I don't know. But we have a lot of questions, by the way. So let's just, like, let's well, introduce ourselves. If they're, from, if they're from Jamaica, that might mean threed. <laughs> treed means three. Okay. All right. Um, oh, my God. We got lots of questions. Lots of questions. More than I would imagine. And they're all on the same wavelength of... A um, little bit of a pervy nature. <laughs> so what kind of wine do you have? I got a little white today. I went um, for. I got, I got some. I got some red to go with my nails. Oh, you got your nails done. Ooh, sexy. And my and my and my toes too. Oh my goodness, you wild animal! So we have decided to rename our Instagram feed that we've been doing weekly to. Wild women with wine. Did I get that right? Because we changed the name like five times. I did. And we guess did. who? And guess who those wild women are? <laughs> you got it. Apparently, but we are we are inviting other we're inviting other wild women with wine to join us too. I really would. I miss women in general. I, I'm, I'm, I'm surrounded by men all the time. I, I need women in my life, except for my so I got, except for my Nancys. I got we, my Nancys. We need to put a shout out for women to join us in these things. And if there are some really cool, interesting women out there, we could we could interview them and put that into our show and and add add to it. Yes, we could do a Zoom. We could do a Zoom thing that we could film. You see the way it, the, the mind just goes. This this little this it's, it's it never stops. It's a nonstop. We need a red hat. We, we need a red hat. We need a red hat. Well, sometimes your hair could be considered red. Sometimes it's purple. Sometimes it's got blue yeah. highlights. It's actually looking really good. I love that uh, the streaks, yeah. whatever. You've got little purple going. Anyway, I got a little purple. Oh, you do, there, yeah. you do. You got purple. I just wanted you to notice my shirt. This is scores. What? Scores. It says backwards. Okay. Uh, it's backwards scores, New York. I got this shirt <laughs> after my boyfriend was working at a strip club. He's a bartender. And so the, the people at the, I, met, I went there way after he stopped working. And we went to say hi to everybody. And someone, the DJ, wanted me to come on stage. And of course, that's not 
in my bailiwick to dance on stage with a pole. I know it is yours, but I can't get on well, that. I tried. Well, I, I, I do. I have personal audiences only. I'm not a. I'm not a. a performance it, okay. Well, artist. in lieu of uh, dancing, he gave me this this nice scores New York T-shirt. Just thought I'd not share that with everybody because I know everybody's dying to know about that. You can't really see it unless I put this down like this. Ah, and then there goes. Yeah, we need, we need to look down your shirt. Yeah, it's not it's not all that exciting right now because. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, all right, whatever. A twenty year old has a chance with an older woman. Well, here come the uh, questions. Uh, well. The reality is at 20, everybody's older. That's my point. So are you talking to 29 year old? Are you talking to 39? I mean, what are you talking? That's exactly my point. All right, so here comes the questions. Are we ready? Drum roll, please. Well, here we go. Can you both show your toes? Now, um, by the way, we will- I already did. Yeah, she already did. My toes are so boring right now, although I did get a gift certificate for my birthday. <laughs> and they're dirty. I got dirty <laughs> yoga toes because I did yoga just before. Nothing like showing my like filthy, filthy feet on, on, on a live stream. That's great. All right, so I hope we answered that question. Next, and by the way, if you guys have more questions, just put them in their little question box down below here. Do you see a question box down there? Hopefully you do. Or maybe I'm the only one who sees it. Is nine inches a good size? Um, For what? Why not? Is a nine inch shoe a good size? <laughs> sure. Nine inch hat? Nine inch dick? What What are you talking? I'm going Nails? with dick. No. Yeah. So she doesn't like nine inches. Well, I mean, nine, it, it's nine inches of what and what do you do with it? I'm more interested in what's behind the nine inches. Yeah. You know, like, what is there a brain attached to the, the nine inch dick? I think, and by the way, it's, it's why, why do people like always think bigger is better? And, and there are plenty of times when bigger is not better. So let's, let's, let's just get that off the table. So more, the, 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 one of the problems is, is that men are still so penis centric. And I understand it's because they have one. But they think that women are as penis centric about their sexuality and their pleasure as men are. And really, the penis, I mean, it can feel great if you're warmed up and ready and you crave it and you beg for it. But just shoving it in the hole, whatever inches you have. Yeah, it can be quite difficult and painful. It, yeah, and it's not going to cause these life changing orgasms that are going to make, make us want to fall at your feet. Exactly. So hopefully that answered that question. It's what you do with that nine inches. Uh, all right. So let's see. Well, apparently, FSC modeling decided to ask that twice. I don't know why the first time wasn't good enough. Did you ever have sex with black men? Why, well, I, I'm more concerned with why is this a constant question as well? There's certain questions that come up every single live stream. And after a while, I think we, we should start doing, you know how like you give a, a dollar every time someone swears or something when your kids are younger? Right. <laughs> We should yeah, we're gonna 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 send a dollar to us every time someone asks this question. Done with that question. All right, next question. Can somebody give a decent question here? Uh, let's see. What do you do to get a man squirming in bed? All right, that, that seems like a good question. Lisa Lou, what do you do to get a man squirming in bed? You want to go for that one? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I think. I think the one of the first things you have to do is to go slow and tease him. Um, don't don't rush in and just grab his dick. Just like women don't want to have somebody just grab our pussies. Don't just grab him. Don't just start jerking on him. Don't don't jump in. You know, you right. can be passionate and excited and enthusiastic, but you also want to build his sex energy right just like you're, you're building your sex energy and why do you and want to do that because oh my god because your orgasm is be much better yeah yeah <laughs> we just well, got a little can you, can you please repeat that 
<laughs> no, we got sound effects and everything on that one. Um, well, any, men can have multiple orgasms just like women can. I, so, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think for me, it's an orgasm that builds. So what I, what I like is when it is more drawn out and teased because multiple orgasms don't interest me as much as one good quality orgasm. Sometimes if, a, if I orgasm too quickly, it's shitty and it gets me really pissed off. Well, th that's why <laughs> that's I, I mentioned that. A multiple, a multiple orgasm is where you build it and you have, a, you have an orgasm and you just drop down a little tiny bit and you build up again. And it's like this climb, climb, climb and every climb gets higher and higher until your whole body is vibrating with orgasm. Mm. It's, it makes your toes curl, it makes your eyes roll, it makes you stupid. <laughs> sounds like you've had some experience in this department. I was reading that in a book. <laughs> you read it in a book. It was called Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, let's wait. Yeah, this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, question from Guzman, E. Dad E. D. Why are they so much better than younger ones? I'm assuming he means older women, but uh, yeah, let's just go from there. Why are they so much better than younger ones? I don't know why this one didn't show up. There we go. Why are they? Why do you think, well, we, we've talked about this a thousand times, but the first I know, thing is that- That's think, why I will get out women who, my reference manual. Yeah. Women who, yeah, get out your record. <laughs> Book Games Day Cougar, the book that tells you all about why older women are so much better than younger ones. It, you know, come on, people, just it, when it comes to experience and when it comes to being more confident because of the experience, when it comes to nurturing, when it comes to being independent and, uh, you know, self sufficient and maybe a lot less demanding and maybe a lot less into game playing all these things make being with an older woman very desirable to a lot of people. Not to say that there are plenty of younger women that are desirable too. I'm just saying that's, that's sort of what sure. I think the reasoning is behind that. You well, and I think and women, women, younger women are just older women without experience. So they have that, they have, and this is what I like to tell younger women all the time is, you know, your youth is great. It's not, it's not uh, everything. And it, it can't give you life experience. So take care of your health, take care, take care of your mind, take care of your heart, keep your body strong and fit. Because as you move through life and you gain experience and wisdom, if you've got a strong, fit body to go with that, you're just flat out dangerous. And, and I think another thing that, that is super important is that older women learn over the years not to worry so much about what people think and what their parents think or what their friends think. I mean, a lot of times younger girls just, and, that, and, and younger guys too, are very concerned with what other people think. And over the years, I've gotten more and more um, confident in my ability not to, uh, to trust my gut, to trust my gut and not to worry so much about what, what others think. Cause you know what, who gives a fuck what others think? That is what you think, right? How do you move, how do you remove the question that's up? Cause it's like, it's how do you my cleavage? Oh, we don't want that. Jesus, what the hell? We don't want to, what kind of question is that that hides your cleavage? Oh, here we go. We got another question that from Michael Borker that said, do older women love giving head? Oh, well, we speak for all older women. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, no, it, you know what? It really depends. If it's part of, if it's part of your sex toolbox, they might like it. Some, and by the way, it could vary from time to time. Sometimes I'm in the real, I'm in a mood for it. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I, it's part of my lovemaking and sometimes it's not. I mean, I, I don't know. What do you think about that question? Do we love giving head? Um, I mean, I, I love giving pleasure. So yeah. if a person's 
and, and I love driving my man crazy with pleasure and and toying with him and exploring him. So you know what I call I, you? I, a little tease. What? You're a little tease. Well, I do love to tease, I, but I also I I love to please too. So, but I like to tease and, to tease up to the please. Okay, she's teasing with she's toying with all the people on right now. We got 20 people on there. Like, oh, there goes Dr. Nian. Um, what is it about younger men that turns older women on? Oh, there he he flipped it. Michael flipped it on us. He just decided to throw it right back in our face. What is it about younger men that turns older women on? And I, ooh, I mean, there's a lot of things for me. I mean, considering I've been with one for 12 and a half years. Um, I would say the most, the thing I like about younger men is they don't feel, they're not as jaded. A lot of older men, unfortunately, because they've gone through marriages or, you know, different life experiences, they don't have the same joie de vivre maybe that younger guys do. Um, you know, just simply the, the lack of experience with different women could cause them to be more desirable. That's, you know, if you understand what I'm saying. The spontaneity. What do you think? Why, why, what turns well, you on about younger men? If, I'm assuming that you've been with one or two in your life. Yeah, I mean, and I, and I, I but I think that for me, it's so individualized, you know, right? Because it's not just about the age. I mean, but I, th I have to say, generationally, I am, I appreciate the younger men in terms of they're more open minded. They're not as patriarchal. Yeah. They're, I know, more, I know, they're, I don't want to interrupt, but I know a guy that I went out with and he said he wouldn't even wear a condom because in his day, they didn't wear condoms. I mean, it's just so like probably rigid, not getting a lot of that. rigidity, the rigidity. And he would make fun of me when I told him that I was with a younger guy who actually wore a condom. He's like, Oh, you've got a condom boy. I'm like, What is wrong with you? Craziness. Yeah. But yeah, so I think I think older, a lot of older men, not all, because I certain my husband's certainly very youthful in his thinking and mm -hmm. believing. And, yeah, but, but 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 he still is a, a product of his era in a lot of ways, and he's pushed through it. He's he's been more conscious of overcoming some of the patriarchal mind fucks that he's been given. We all have. Mm -hmm. But I think younger, younger men don't have to overcome a lot of that because a lot of them have been raised by single women or powerful Probably. women that, that really demonstrated to them that women are strong and capable and you respect women. And so, I'm, I mean, I, that's probably one of the first questions I ask any man is, what do you think of your mom? <laughs> Me too. You know? I got in trouble one yeah. time because I, I, I went out with a guy and during the day he said he doesn't, he doesn't speak to his mother. So I'm like, bing, bing, red flag, red flag, red flag. Because to me, it's like, listen, I have a podcast called Sex Talk with My Mom. I think that it's super important to have a, a, a very tight relationship with both your parents. I, I had that with my dad and my mother. But in, sometimes you, you can't help it. You, you, you're born into a, a, an abusive situation. You can't be close with your, your parents and, th and just, it just doesn't work. But if you have, if nothing tra traumatic has happened to you and you just really have hostility towards your mom, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. But. Yeah, well, and I think it's it's how it's how men talk about other women. You know. Yeah. Um, we women women and and I think it goes both ways. If men are, if women are always talking about what shitheads men are, then guys might be thinking, well, she doesn't like men. You know. Right. But I think if in the same women with men if they're, if they're always talking about how the women always you know ripped them off and took advantage of them and you know di you know if you if you diss your exes or you diss the gender that you're trying to get, connect with it's probably not gonna go well for you i mean not to get political or anything but that's what i don't understand about the whole you know your your right to choose or your you you know it, the ability to be able to decide what to do with your body. I don't understand why men are deciding that. That's a generational thing right. and women are going along with that crap. All right. I just gonna... watched the, doc, the doc, uh, documentary on uh, Roe v. Wade and it, it was fascinating. I'll, I'll find the link and send it to you. I would love to see To that. realize how, how it wasn't a political issue. 
mm. until Roe v. Wade. Right. And then before that, the no political party gave a rip about abortion. They didn't care that women were dying from abortions in back alleys. They didn't care that a million fetuses were being aborted every year. They didn't care about that. That wasn't even on their radar. Right. And then all of a sudden, because it goes through the Supreme Court and the ev evangelicals created it, made it political to get their candidate to do what they wanted him right. to do. So, that, I mean, so it, the history of it is quite fascinating. I'm definitely going to watch it. It has nothing to do with the process being done. Well, it's some people, political. some people happen to agree with you. Uh, the blue haired girl, Megan said hundred percent, Dr. Nan, don't dish your exes. I just wanted to go back here and talk uh, about some of the comments we've gotten at. SC guy 84 said, I adore my mom. Uh, JJ Smooth says, what I love about older women seems most are so secure. Don't appear to be jealous. The confidence that they, that flows, they are self-assured not to act insecure. They're so attractive. Sort of similar to, you know, what we've been talking about. Uh, thank you for all these comments. Now on to um, more comments, uh, questions. And if you've got more questions, just put them down below. You can keep asking us. This is fun. Karen, ever been with a woman in bed? Uh, I actually have slept with a bunch of women in bed, but not sexually. <laughs> I, was I, I frequently share a bed, but no. I mean, I've kissed a girl. I've kissed a few girls. Sometimes the kisses are good. Sometimes, it, you know, doesn't do anything for me. But, you know, it's just, again, I, I unfortunately, my mind from my generation is not one to, it, it, it's just... I mean, when I was growing up, I probably was experimenting with women, but it, at a certain point, you start feeling shamed for any of that. And our, my, our, our generation was not, let's, you know, mess around with other girls. When, actually, when I first saw, I was down visiting some, uh, one of my kids in, in uh, college, and I saw two girls, like, totally, like, practically making out on the dance floor. I'm like, they're just doing it to show off. They're not doing it because they really want to. Because my, my, my mind was like, this couldn't be. Because why, cause why would they, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, anyway, there we go. We don't want to block your face. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that, Ron. Uh, Hermosa Bella, that's not a question, but thank you. Oops. Oops, sorry about this. Let's see what the next one is here. Who wants to date me? LOL. Uh, do you want to date Stephen Holper, even though you don't know him? Oh, oh, sure. Why not? I love to <laughs> people. I don't know. It's always fun to, you know. That was listen, sarcasm, I, by the way. <laughs> I know. I can't, I can't fault the guy for trying either, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Do you still have what ass pussy? WAP. W-A-P. It, it, it's, uh, okay. I can see why the question would be asked because of the song that's out right now. Oh. You know? That, that's where that came from. I knew I had to educate you. You can educate me on the Supreme Court. I'll educate you on the lo the, the latest. Uh, um, the TikTok songs. <laughs> yeah, the latest TikTok songs. No, that one is actually, uh, I was, wait, now, I'm, now of course I draw a blank. It's, it's not Kesha. It's, um, who is it, you guys? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Wait, who is it? Yeah. I know who, who sings WAP? I'm, I'm like drawing, oh, Cardi B. Okay, so Cardi B did this whole song, and I'm going to send you the link, Nancy, because I think it's the most empowering song for women. It's like, I have a wet-ass oh. pussy, and I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I was like, I am so... I've, I've, I've heard it. Have you heard the country version of it? No. Is it funny? Somebody did a country version of it. It's hilarious, and it's like, it just puts a whole different spin on it. It's really funny, yeah. But the but the the it's fact clever. that and then there are other people that like real conservative people that thought it was disgraceful and everything that she sang that song. And I'm like, hell, you, hell. I mean, I talked about it in my podcast. I totally think that uh, there's no. Uh, it, it's empowering to think, yeah, she's got a wet ass pussy and she's gonna she's gonna <laughs> enjoy it. And you know what? And so, in answer to your question, yeah. there are times that I have a WAP. But there are also times that I don't have a WAP. It depends on who I'm with and what my mental thought processes are and what I'm reading and what I'm watching and what I'm experiencing. What about you? You got a WAP sometime? Oh, a lot, most of the time. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. And she's, always, and she's just, she's just, she, she's just like, she's just like one of those engines that's always kind of partially revved up. <laughs> she's revving to go. I just want to show you. There it is. There's that question for you. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you guys want to leave more questions, we have plenty of time. All right, here we go. Women live longer than men, so it pays you to marry a younger man. Uh -huh. I, I mean, that is part of my, my philosophy. I, I do believe that we, we do live three years or four years longer than men. And as a matter of fact, one time I did with my boyfriend, we did a certain, like a questionnaire about how long, you know, our lifestyles and, you know, our nutrition and exercise and, and all these different things, even if you floss, and he was going to end up living one year younger than me. <laughs> I mean, one, he's going to die before me because it was all these other issues. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's yeah. something to be said for that. Yeah. Is lube something that a man should expect to have handy when a sexual encounter is possible with an older woman? I think you should have lube no matter if you're older or younger because after a while, anything can, you know, friction can cause dryness. So, and wetter is better. Uh, I mean, well, yes. And, yeah, that lit, and, if you're using a condom, you know, I mean, yeah. you really need lube because condoms can rip the heck out of us. And cause irritation and if you are into anal at all you it's mandatory that you oh, yeah. don't do yeah. it with spit so the question ron is, is not about i mean the answer to that is not necessarily for older women but it's for all women you should have lived yeah. with any age woman thank you kahala lynn <laughs> absolutely all right what do yeah. we got all right do older women like big penis <laughs> Do older women like big penis? We likes it. We like small yeah, penis. Yeah, you know, the older we get, the older we get, the more stretched our pussy gets. So we have to it's have exactly, bigger and bigger. Especially and bigger if ones. you have children, your pussy gets to be this big. You got WAP. You got this wet ass pussy going on. Well, and the more the more sex we have, the bigger that thing gets. <laughs> can we can we discuss that? How do people actually believe this? They think I, oh, I interviewed a, um, a prostitute in Australia where it was legal. And she was telling me she slept with over a thousand men or something, 10,000, 10,000 men. She slept with over 10,000 men. And she said that actually people, the comments after I, after I interviewed her were like, does she have like the Holland Tunnel down there because of all the men she slept with? They don't realize that, it, you know what, you can sleep with one man and your the uh, baby's head could be ginormous, like the size of a watermelon. And you could push that through and go right back to your tight ass, wet ass pussy. It's like it stretches and it's a <laughs> As other orifices yeah. do. Have you had public yeah. sex like yeah. at the movies? How many, how, many, how many poops have you had? And is your butthole just open all the time? No. Whoa. It, it <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, it, just yeah. wetter is better. Uh, well, yeah, wetter. And and somebody said that they didn't want uh, older women to think that they were implied that they wouldn't be wet. You need it for all women. It doesn't matter all women. what age. All uh, women. For um, what about yeah. Kegel exercises? Well, I actually um, am using a new trainer. <laughs> what's, his, what's his name? It, <laughs> no, and it's not a he. It's actually, it looks like a vibrator, but it's not. It's both. It's a vibrator, and it's also an electrostimulator. And it's called The Intensity by Pour Moi, P-O-U-R-M-O-I. And it's, uh, you can get a discount too if you use our code MOM. <laughs> so, it's just 20% off or some high discount. Anyway, it's a, it stimulates the Kegels for you. So what about Kegel exercises? I think that is a great thing to know where your Kegels are and to exercise them. What do you think? Okay, <laughs> I got a lot to say about this. Oh, here we go. I'll, I'll just sit back and listen. Okay, because a lot of women just do all these tightening things f because they, they're so afraid that their vagina is going to get loose because of whatever myths are out there, right? And so they just tighten, 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 tighten. They squeeze, they put eggs in there. They do all kinds of crazy things to try to, they get all these procedures done to try to tighten vagina. Question. Yes. Are the eggs hard boiled? Are they 
<laughs> regular hexagonal. They're made shape. of they're made of jade <laughs> or crystals or you know stone. They're stone eggs. <laughs> I just want to make sure that they were putting regular eggs that they could crack, you know? Well, that, I mean, you know, the shells could feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> the egg would probably be fine. <laughs> All right. So I want to make sure we're talking about the same thing. The women just contract, 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 and then they get pelvic floors that are so constricted. They can't that get they anything end up with All kinds of issues. They can't even orgasm because. It's like, it's like a muscle, you know, it, right. it is a muscle. And so if, if the only thing you do with a muscle is contract it, contract it, contract it, and you never learn to release it, oh. that muscle will just tighten up and shorten up and stay contracted. And by the way, how is anybody so, gonna, how do you even get anything in there? It's so tight, exactly. you might be, you might be not even able to get a finger in there. Well, right. Well, and it's, um, it hurts. It hurts. So, so women have to learn how to manage their pelvic floor muscles. And that's what an orgasm does. An yeah. orgasm will, will contract and relax and contract and relax. And you can have three to 15 or 20 contractions oh, yeah. with an orgasm. So that's like, and that's like the most powerful internal Kegel contraption you could ever imagine that's the natural contract that's the natural kegel i like those you don't i like those contractions and yeah. not only that but when you have an orgasm you release the oxytocin you release all kinds of great okay. natural hormones that are make you in a yeah. really good mood for men and women would you have had public sex like at the movies a restaurant while driving the car how do i drive the car at a restaurant a restaurant while driving the car have you ever had sex at a drive-in movie? Um, I, I haven't been to a drive-in movie in a long time, but I probably have done some heavy sexual petting. What about you? Yeah. Oh. We had, my, boyfriend, my boyfriend had a truck. Was, this was oh. in high school. He had a truck. And so we would, he had a mattress in the back of the truck, and it had a, a Camp, like a shell on it oh. so we would we would we would pull up to the uh drive-in and turn the truck backwards oh. and open the tailgate and bring that's those, where the, you became the the, the exhibitionist it, that you are today <laughs> well i didn't know anybody could see me <laughs> bullshit it was sure fun to be in the back of the truck <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sex in a datsun 280z because i have i have had sex Nobody in I've had sex in some unusual places. <laughs> I, I I bet. Well, that's another that's another episode. That's a paid paid per view episode. All right, here we go. Are cougars still good in bed? No, I'm going to answer that right now. We suck. <laughs> and suck and suck. And suck. <laughs> Nancy, have you guys noticed? Wave and send hearts if you notice that Nancy is in rare form tonight. She is on a roll tonight. Um, and Blue Hair Girl says, yes, truck power. What truck do you power. say when an older woman say you're too young or you could be my son? I get that a lot. And I've had that happen to me. And I like to not give it a lot of attention. I think that's an instant response for an older woman, especially one who doesn't typically date younger guys. It's an instant response, and it's most less, mostly to feel people out. Like, what you know, what's gonna he, what is he gonna say next when I say this? They all give in at the, in the long run. They're just you know reluctant at first because they they their societal norms are not being met. And I think you just or play along, goof, goof around a little bit with, make a joke of it, or just you know, I would just not give it a lot of attention and move on to the next pickup line or whatever you were planning on doing to seduce this woman but it's happened and but there are there are older women that are not interested in younger men and that's that they, too. They that's true. Like, there are just a lot of them i have a lot of girlfriends that have no desire to be with anybody less uh, uh, under two two or three years younger is as far as they'll go and they, they like, um, and i have plenty older. that want older they want older. Yeah. A lot of these women want older. 
Whatever. So if they say that, just believe them and move on. I don't, I, I think you give it, a, give it a, my, my opinion is give it a second shot. I think a lot of them just immediately dismiss. And, and I found myself being, you know, if you can get me just to have a conversation, a lot of that stuff goes away. Because one of the guys that was adorable, I was trying to fix him up with my daughter. I mean, and it turns out like he was like at the end of the night, like, no, I wanted you. And that was a turn on for me. So, you know, <laughs> sometimes a rejection is not really a rejection. It's just a, it's just a testing period. Nancy, Wait. Nancy is a pistol anyway. <laughs> he's, a pistol. He's, he's a pistol. Uh, so no, see. it's well, not really the wine because I, I haven't even had like a half a glass and I, yeah, it takes a bit that i i just i just enjoy karen karen and i bring out bring out something in each other that's just fun for both of us so yeah we we just we 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 rouse each other we get we each, get other each going. we we rev each other's engines <laughs> where where do you meet mills if you're under 21 oh my you, god you wait until you're 21 you wait till you're 21 <laughs> and and then you'll you may not find that many anyway even when oh. you're 21 um <laughs> Someone said the gym is the answer to that question. Uh, now we got the gym. Oh, sh the gym. The gym is where you meet Will. Oh, it's at the jail. <laughs> in jail is another place you meet milfs. There's a lot of milfs in jail. I, the glass looks large when I put it up next to you, but you know, really, it's not that. It's not that big. <laughs> she, she's a lush. Don't don't let her tell you otherwise. Um, I wouldn't want to give up on someone that I was really interested in because sometimes women will not be interested initially, but you can change your mind um, by the things that you do afterwards. Is that, that's kind of what I was saying, too. Uh, I'll agree with you on that one. Um, do you think a 20-year-old has a chance with a 40-year-old? Um, now, what does a chance mean? Yeah. Chance I don't know. Me. I mean, it's possible. I, I think it's definitely possible. I know guys who've done it and had it even older. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's all about their personalities, who you are and what you bring to the table and who they are and what they want from your table. You know, if, so, you, if, if it's the right Zodiac sign, got a, got a much better chance. There you go. You can ask Karen about the Zodiac sign situation. Yeah, you got to just ask me. All right. What do we got here? Do I agree to my girl to add a man to the bed? Oh, yeah. There's a there's a thought there's a thought provoking question. Hmm. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. <laughs> hey, Wino over there. You want to answer this one? Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on my second glass, you can call me that. Um. You know, I think, do I agree to my girl to add a man to the bed? Is it something that would turn you on? Is it something that is going to damage you? You you have to have that conversation with her. Obviously, she's the one that's brought it up. So you know she's okay with it. But you have to make sure that it's something that you're okay with. And it interests you on some level. And then you have to set set up some parameters to know, like, after you do this, it, you got to come back together and discuss, is this going to be something you want to continue or not? But I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that in any, any relationship, that it only takes one no to make a no. So you yeah, have... And, and you it, have it's you kind of, if, if it's a question for you to have someone come into your bed that she wants, you have to decide first what you want. Right. Right. I, I hope that helped. Um, but I, I, that's a that's a that's a twist on that question because oftentimes we get the how do I get my girlfriend to get to allow me to do such and such? So ah. this is really this is a really cool twist, you know. It's like right, she that's what wants I said. it. She wants it. Yeah. If I was married or yeah. had a girlfriend, I do not think I could share her with anyone. I mean, you got to know that about yourself, S guy eighty four. I mean, you just have to know it. Like, and, and that might change over the years, you know, just at certain times in your life, you, you know, yeah. maybe more, I don't want to say the word, and, insecure, but more into monogamy than others. And I, 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 I take issue with the word share. Um, 
because they're not your possession to share. Right. It just so, depends on your agreement. Whether, whether you can, whether monogamy, what monogamy means for you, um, and how, what kind of rights you feel individuals have about their sexuality and their bodies, and what kind of rights you feel like you, you think you have over somebody else's body and what they do with their body. Yeah. You can only decide for yourself. I, you, you, you can say, I can't see myself being sexual with anybody else in, in, within a relationship. That would make me uncomfortable. That's not something I would desire. So I am a monogamous person. But you cannot demand that from somebody else. Here, here. And if you feel like you should demand it, maybe that's not the right person for you. Right. And that's why I have couples early, early, early in their relationships have the, the consensual monogamy conversation or the at least defined monogamy conversation. So they, when they say that word or they have that implication, they know all the things that fall into that. And it's okay also if you're not comfortable with it and you voice it to your partner and she's like, okay, well, it's more yeah. important that I be with you than I, you know, be with other people. Right. That, 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 might, right. that might happen. You might win. <laughs> you might win that conversation. Uh, you know, don't forget, it's society that tells us we have to be monogamous. It's society. Right. It's not, right. there's, there's nothing. No, it's not down. nature. It's not nature, that's for sure. I never could understand and, and I am monogamous, but I can never, I, I always said that it just doesn't seem like it's a, nor, it's a natural thing because there's very few species of animals that are monogamous. I think the swan and one other, maybe, forgot. certainly not the bonobo monkey, monkeys. They're not monogamous at all. No, they, they, they teach us a lot about sexual um, play and the function of sexuality. Yeah. They, they, use, they use sex to diffuse anger. That's why, and the women... The females and the bonobos, they they solve all conflicts. They'll break up sex. fights. They'll break up fights with their their vaginas. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is a this is an interesting question or an interesting statement that I'd like you to address, Nancy. I honestly don't understand okay. the appeal that swingers have. Okay. <laughs> What's the appeal? I mean. You don't have to understand it. It's not, I mean, it's not like, it's not like it's, 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 it's like if, if I'm not, if I, I don't, I don't understand uh, the, the, the appeal the of an for, old, for, for old cars, but so I don't want, well, maybe he's, he might be actually asking, what is the appeal? I think for, for many couples who have, who don't feel like they've ever been able to be monogamous, that's not their nature. And they decide that rather than splitting up, rather than cheating and feeling like they're betraying, rather than splitting up to, to expand their sexual journey and to feel like they're being authentic in their sexuality, they create agreements within the relationship that, are, that, are, that, that uh, remove the idea of betrayal, that take away any lying or the idea of cheating. Everything's out in the open. And sometimes they do everything together. Sometimes they make agreements where they do things separately, but they're really honoring the individuality of each person in their like relationship. That. But and also, what, what, what is the, the I whole. think, listen, I can see the appeal, even though I'm not necessarily having it. I can see the appeal of being able to like, you know, have sex with other people. It's just, there's, it's, it's the men and women um, seek um, excitement and variety. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a human trait to have that. So I can see why, I can understand that appeal. For sure. What well, it depends on what kind of swing you're swinging on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can. Yeah. I mean, even though I'm a virgin. Okay. Uh, what's this? Is? On the secret of their attraction. Uh, okay, so that was a question about. This must have been uh, a question about something. I don't know. It's <laughs> not a complete sentence. Yeah. Is it common? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is it common for men to be relatively long-lasting in bed but failing to ejaculate? Say fifty. 
A minimum 15 minutes. Uh, uh, it's, it's, what, it's wonderful. Is it, it's is wonderful. It, yeah, is it common? Is it um, common? Y yes, it is common. It's it, also... It's also common for men to ejaculate sooner. Right. Um, Does it matter? Know, it, it no. really depends what, what your preference is and what your partner needs. Sure. And, uh, and, and, and that might change also depending on all different circumstances in your life. That might change if you're younger or older. It might change uh, depending on if you're with a steady partner. It may change if you're drinking alcohol, a lot of things. On the note of swingers, yeah. it's awesome to be able to dish with your partner about your date. If you can gossip with the best, with your best friends, why not your partner? You, Megan, you and Nancy are on the same vibe on that one for sure. Yeah, I mean, what, you know, it, you have this life partner and you want to be able to share everything with them. And one of the problems that I see in couples who've had in, who've experienced infidelity is the, the biggest problem isn't the sex that has been had. It's the secrecy. Mm -hmm. And it's the, it's the feeling that your partner now has a secret with someone yeah. else. Right. Makes that you feel really shitty. Right. That, that you feel shitty. excluded. You feel really excluded from a po important part of their life. Right. And in the swinging lifestyle or the open, we'll just call it the open free spirited lifestyle or whatever, the consensual or ethical non monogamy lifestyle. Um, the couples don't have to worry about that because they they set it up so that there's nothing that they cannot share with each other. There's right. no repercussions. There's no punishment. There's no there's no drama. You know, it's just. It's like you're sharing your, with your best friend something that, ex, that you experienced and or that something that troubles you or something, you know, whatever. So it, it, it actually, the couples that I've seen that have moved into the lifestyle have stronger, happier, healthier relationships if they had a good foundation. Right. If you didn't have a good foundation, then you, I can see where yeah. it could go. I can see why once, right. once that Pandora's box is opened, you might want to shut it. <laughs> well, and um, couples that go into the lifestyle thinking it's going to solve a problem, uh -huh. it, it's not. It, it's going to create problems for them. Mm. Yeah. All right. I guess this guy asked this a couple of times. Um, Zilla, you can ask any question you want. Just feel free. There's a question at the bottom here too, by the way. And also, uh, what's the solution for prolonged ejaculation? A solution meaning you, how do you come sooner, Sean? Um, hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is that what? Well, I, I don't know that that's an issue. Um, there <laughs> well, are, I mean, if, if, if you're going if for you're, an hour. If you're, struggling, and, yeah. if you're struggling to orgasm, there are certain medications that can cause that to happen, certain antidepressants. Oh, right, um, right. Yeah. Sean, Sean, have you talked to your doctor about this? And are you on any so, of these medications? If you're on, be. Yeah, if you're on any medication, talk to your doctor about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and then there are things that, that you can do to retrain yourself right. to, to be in your body rather, because if you're masturbating with porn, Sometimes you detach from your own sensation and then you can rub your penis raw and not really get anywhere because you're just in your head, not in your body. Exactly. So, okay. Um, well, I'm going to keep on that subject in a second, but why in Cougar Life other women send me in another link? Karen, can you explain? I don't know anything about Cougar Life other than I don't know anybody who's found any success with it. So. I think you're much better off rather than going into these specific apps like Cougar Life. I think, you're, and believe me, I, I was an affiliate with them for a while. I didn't make a dollar. My, my point is that if you want to meet older women, just go on regular dating sites, put in your age grouping. Like I like only, you know, say you're, you only like 35 and up or whatever it is. That's a much better way than going to specific Cougar dating sites because I think they're a rip up. I didn't say that though. Um, anyway, back to the other thing. I don't have health issues. So the one that um, is prolonged um, uh, ejaculation, if it's not, 
you're, you're not on other medications and everything else, um, are you also watching a lot of porn? Because porn could be a, uh, another problem. I love the S guy, 84, is giving Sean movie freak um, uh, suggestions. That's adorable. Um, anyway, I know we're getting to our 10 minute mark, so we have, we're going to be over soon. I'm, I'm very excited to watch the debates. Is anybody else watching it besides me? I, I'm no, very, I'm with watching it's like the greatest show on earth. I right might need one more glass of wine. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, but if you guys like this, uh, make sure to follow us on both of Nancy's and my um, social media. I'm on TikTok now. Nancy's on TikTok now. I saw it. Very cute. Um, and we also have a, um, a website now. I mean, not a website, a Instagram page. It's called, what's it called again? Wild Women with Wine. Yeah, so you can Wild follow Women us there. Wild Women with Wine. So our Instagram page, and, and I'm putting up a bunch of our videos on my YouTube channel. Woohoo! We have, we have Patreon pages, Karen Lee and Dr. Yeah. Nancy. Yep. So you can support our work, and um, yeah, we're all looking forward to the comedy show. Woohoo! Can't wait to see that. It's it's going to be great. So anyway, it's been wonderful as always having this time with you. Hope Trump won't interrupt. Don't worry if he interrupts, they're going to turn down his mic. And you just I see his like red they face. They have a mute button. That's what I'm saying. The, they have a mute, mute button for their two for their for their two minute times. They're it's gonna be great. The other one, I think. It's it's gonna be so funny. You're gonna see. And you're gonna see a red no, face. He's gonna, he's gonna implode. He's gonna implode. <laughs> somebody somebody tweeted today. I can't believe they would have the nerve to mute a president. And I re replied back. I can't believe we have a president that requires muting. <laughs> Seriously, we have never had a president so incorrigible and disrespectful. You know, I and think horrific. He is one of those guys that you really want to smack around a little bit. Seriously, <laughs> he brings out the violence. Yeah, of me. he does. <sighs> All right, yeah, he's well, got to go. Mark, the Mark is so go. ready for him to be gone. Just if you, for my mental health. <laughs> listen, both Nancy and I agree to this. We don't expect you to join our Patreon page or do anything else monetarily if you just go out and vote and vote for Biden. That's all. That's all I'm asking right now. If you want to give a present yeah. to each of us, we had a birthday last month, just vote for Biden and, and uh, Harris. Just, just vote I, for them. I, I view a vote for Biden and Harris as a vote for humankind. That really is a vote for humanity, compassion, caring kindness, and our environment. women's rights. Women's rights. Everything. Every yeah. single thing. They ought to mute out our Congress yeah. now. Just, we just have to get on. Uh, we just have to find a way to work together. That's all. It's, it's not that hard. Look at I I will work yeah. with this we pain just... in the butt over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love this girl so love much. You. All right, guys. We will all see right. you next Thank week. Thank you. Bye. Good night. We'll have a lot to talk about next week. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>